Bang, needs knives. I'm Jared. My lovely wife, Kara, is not with us today. Douglas, say what's up. Again? Douglas is in the background. Today we are going to do the battle between the Tucson TS-177 Maverick and the Tucson TS-223 Monarch. These two are great knives. I know they don't have a lot of similarities, but they kind of do. And it's really, I'm really hard pressed on which one I like more than the other. So I figured I would battle them. Why not, right? Why not? I like both the knives a lot. And um, with the looks, you know, like I love the look of both of them. Both of them, these are just both great, great looking knives. Look at the titanium on this one. It reminds me of like a Hinder Strider um, combination, I guess, uh, with the, the all titanium milled finish. These things are milled out to the max. I mean, nice and light and just, oh, it's so nice. But now on Tuesday, I like the way this one looks more. On Wednesday, I like the way this one looks more. This one's got the milled titanium too. You can see it on the pocket clip also. And then this beautiful carbon fiber. Oh, it's just so nice. So it, it's really hard for me to pick which one I think looks better. Um, because sometimes I'd like to see this finish on this knife. And vice versa. So, I mean, it's just, I'm hard pressed. So let's get into it. If you want to see the full review, I do have the full review on both of these knives. I'll try to link them below, but I do have them in my videos. Um, I, yeah, so check them out. Now, both these knives have all the bells and whistles and for an incredible price. Yes, this one's a little bit more money, but it's M390. This one's 14C28M blade steel. And so, and what I'm talking about is the steel that they made the blade out of. Uh, M390 is going to have higher edge retention and be a little more stand resistant. It is a super steel. It's more quality of a steel. 14C28N is a mid-grade steel. Good edge retention and good stain resistance, but just not as much as a super steel. But it's incredible to get this kind of steel in titanium and carbon fiber because a lot of people want the goods they want the good quality uh, action and materials but they don't need a super steel and this is a great all-around user steel it's awesome amazing for EDC for everyday carry and because the edge retention is good it's good stain resistant and it's easy so easy to put an edge on you can put an edge on so quickly and it's just and it's just a good all-around steel so i love seeing it when they put a steel like this in premium uh, materials and give you a lower price because a lot of companies out there you know once they put a super steel on it the price goes really high too high for me my bank account and it's just and a lot of other people so it's beautiful when you see this now tucson though they give you the super steels in all the bells and whistles and all the great materials that everybody wants for a low low price and they don't cut corners and that's what i love you get all t8 hardware on all of their models that is phenomenal you know because when you see the smaller hardware and what I'm talking about is the screws to take them apart. When you get the small hardware, like on a lot of knives, they strip out very easily. And you eventually are going to have to maintain your knife, take them apart. Two Suns are the most easiest knives to take apart out of any knife. Any knife. I would race anybody. Anybody in the world. I will race on taking a knife apart. And I will grab a Two Sun for my knife to take apart. Um, and also, the just everything they have um sorry i'm hitting the camera they have reverse detent tracks and i mean that's that's amazing to see in knives of this price they have internal stop pins they have um incredible action the only thing that two sons sometimes fumble on is their clips but these two have great clips this one isn't as tight as uh this one over here so this one is a lot, 
I'm not gonna say it, both of them are easy to put in and out of the pocket. This one just doesn't hang on as tight. But let's get to what I think is better and what I don't like, or not don't like because I love them both, but what I think is better about each one. Okay, so first of all, obviously, I like the clip a little bit better on this one. Um, this one still has a good clip. It just doesn't hang on as tight as this one. If you look, this one has the clip and... Oh, come on, camera. Work with me here. Let me move this. Sorry, guys. Okay, see this little point right there where it hits your pocket? That's like, it's like it's biting your pocket. So it, it, it has a lot of tension there. Now, this one is a little more rounded and don't worry about these i know so so many people look at this and say man that's got to chew up your pocket nope it goes in and out of the pocket so slick i mean it, it's not this it just doesn't have a lot of tension so it goes in and out of the pocket one-handed plenty of room for any type of jeans or anything but i'm gonna say this pocket clip um, beats the other one. Now, even though I love the ergos on this knife, I mean, I absolutely love it. The thing is, is that, you know, because of the way it's kind of holding you forward, like, like when you're holding it, it's kind of canted forward in your hand. And it's just the way it sits. If you look, it kind of sits downward. So I really like to use this knife like this a lot which you can absolutely do they have this little spot right there resting down it's not so much of a finger toil but it works because it cants downward so it's like it sits perfectly and this feels really really good i do like the way it feels but this one's better um this one doesn't put you in positions because of this nub right here and because of it being rounded because of this thing being straight it gives you um, an opportunity to get in any position you want to be in. You can do the same thing with the finger. You can. Uh, you are a little bit in front of the blade right there, but hey, man, just just keep your finger in front of the blade. Lock your hand in. You'll be just fine. You do have hands, and you decide how hard you squeeze something. Um, and if you're cutting through something that's so hard that you might slip, well, then don't don't put your finger there, right? Um, but it gives you a lot of positions and they feel very comfortable. And yeah, so the Ergos win. Now, the the looks, this thing would absolutely win right now if this was Micarta right here. And even though I love, 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 um, car, did I say carbon fiber? Micarta. I don't know what I said. Okay, I love, oh, man, my head right now. I, even though, excuse me. Even though I love carbon fiber, love it. I like Micarta this much more. Carbon fiber is very beautiful. I, and this carbon fiber is very beautiful. It is a little sharp around the edges. I would like to see that knocked down. And I am going to knock mine down. I'm about to send this to Metal Complex. And I didn't want to modify anything. But when it comes back, there's a couple little things I'm going to do to this knife. And that's only because I love it so much. So it's not because anything's wrong. It's because I love it. But one thing, though, is this thing does have some sharp edges that can easily be knocked down with... Why is my camera going so crazy? With some sandpaper. Super easy. So I'm going to do that. But, man, it's so hard to choose which one looks nicer. So I'm just going to give them a tie because, like I said, sometimes I'd like to see this finish on this knife. And sometimes I say, man, this one's better. Now, blade geometry, both of these are fantastic. Fantastic. I mean, this is, I forget what I said in my review, but I think I, I think it was like 13, 13 to 15 thousandths behind the edge. And I believe this is around the same thing. I mean, that's remarkable. I mean, it's not a super thick blade stock, but it is thick enough to where it's very strong very very strong you see this one and that's a nice thick blade stack but they use the the drop and how much room they have here to create very thin behind the edge which there's a a lot of things for edc that you might need a hard use knife for 
and you know depending on your lifestyle and the things you do and boy i know hard use and i've used knives really hard i mean i've done construction my whole life and i've broken knives snap knives but for the most part for edc so not for work for everyday carry the things you cut feel better or cut better when you have better edge geometry when you have a thinner blade or thinner behind the edge, it just cuts better. That doesn't mean you're not gonna run into things that you might need a little bit thicker blade stock for or need a little strength behind the edge, but these sit in that happy medium spot where it's not too thin, but it's thin enough to where these things are a joy to use. Now, one downfall I'm gonna speak right now. Now, 14C28N is such a good steel, but the one problem with it for Tucson is that they like to do these grinds, right? It looks really sexy. The grind lines from the belt. It's a belt satin finish. That looks so good, but for the Sandvik steels, they leave fingerprints, man. It's bad, real bad. So that's another thing I might do with it, even though, man, that's not good. So what I might do is I might get it back and I'm going to put a heavier satin finish. I am going to do a, a regrind on this. It'll be very subtle, so it'll be just enough to where it doesn't become a fingerprint magnet because, man, let me tell you, it's bad. This one, being M390, it's not as bad. And I, I, I'll give you, I'll tell you why I think that is. Because if you look, like, see how it is? Now, you're going to see fingerprints, but not as bad, right? You don't even see it, I don't think. And I just touched the heck out of it. The reason why... I think, in my opinion, is, is that the other steels, they don't polish as fast as 14C28N. 14C28N, you know, it, I think with their belt set and finish, I think it's slightly more polished. And that's why I want to put some uh, some better grinds in it, just to where it's not so fingerprinty. And I know it'll be slightly more susceptible to rust. But I'll take care of my knives. I'll be okay. Um, so this one definitely wins for the non-fingerprint magnet category. <laughs> now let's get to action. Action. Um, this one's detent better. I'm just going to say this one's detent is better. It does have three ways of deployment. So it does win in the action category just because three ways of deployment and the detent is a little bit heavier. I know in my review, I said I don't want this um, detent to be any heavier. I love the way, I don't want it to be any softer or heavier, but this one that has a softer detent and this one has a harder detent or heavier detent. Now, that doesn't take anything away from this one's action. This one's action is amazing i love this one's action and the good thing about two sons what you get is you get all the bells and whistles reverse detents you get um you know the great action you get all those things you get internal stop pins both of these have internal stop pins both of these have reverse detents watch the review if you're just seeing these for the first time go watch the review on them you'll see you know a lot more um now so uh, they're, they're so tied up in my opinion now this is what's going to happen i'm going to say right now which one i like more um but i don't want to take anything away from the other one because i do like this one more and even though i would way rather see a knife with three ways of deployment now the re reason why the other one's going to take the cake this one is two reasons one, the ergos. It's just better, man. Um, you know, they both are fine, you know, in ergo department. But this one's just a little bit better. And after I soften these edges a little bit, there ain't going to be nothing that can stop it. I mean, look at that profile. Just so basic. It's beautiful. You know what I mean? Um, the sharpening twirls on both of these are done phenomenally. But... This is why this one's going to win also is because I think I might switch this to Micarta. I know I'm doing it as it sits, but it's my it's my comparison. It's my battle, right? So 
I'm picking this one. I might switch this to Micarta, and I'm going to do some grind lines or some, you know, a better set and finish on it, and then nothing can stop this. Hopefully, I don't ruin it, but this is a pretty basic, you know, I have nothing to worry about. Really, the only thing I can grind off is the couple logos. Sorry, Jelly Jerry, that I might grind off your name a little bit. I'll try to leave it. I promise you, I'm not trying to take off the, um, yeah, it's going to probably mess it up. I'm sorry, but it's just going to be slightly deeper, just enough to where there's no, cause I mean, I'm scared to use it because it's so fingerprinty, you know, and I could stonewash it, but I love the grind lines. You know, I love that satin finish. And to me, I like a, um, a stonewashed even more than a satin finish a lot of times. But when you can give me this beautiful finish, Without being fingerprinty, all those lines like that, I'll take it over stone wash t you know, every day of the week for the most part, unless if it's a work knife. Eh, it depends. Um, pretty wishy washy. Um, no, I'm not. I know what I like, and I do like this one better. This one is still amazing, but this one's definitely going to take the cake. Jelly Jerry, you killed it with this design. There is a couple things I would change though. Um, I would have put the detent, the detent ball just a slightly bit earlier because if you notice, it hits my finger and it's right on the detent, but you do have a reverse detent track, so not a problem. And I can, or I would have just cut this out just a little bit lower down to there because if it was down to right there, that's where I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it right on the bottom and then I'm past. So it's not an issue. Um, I would make this detent, I guess, not for me because I love it, but other people might want it to be slightly, you know, let us know down in the comments. A lot of you guys do have this knife. What do you think about the detent? Would you increase it or would you just leave it as is? Let, uh, let Jelly Jerry know down in the comments below. Love you guys. This is my pick. This one wins. Bang.